Today we'll be looking at the 23mm f1.4 linear motor. Is it really too sharp for video? I'm shooting on the 23mm f1.4 right now. I only pretty much shoot at f1.4 because at around f2.8 especially at 5.6, you get considerable sharpness. There recently has been a common trend, particularly among Fujifilm content creators. Everyone wants cameras with higher specs and resolution, while also wanting to degrade their images with grain, filters, and vintage lenses. There's something to be said about a balance, but the current fad is a contradiction. People short-sightedly argue that vintage glass is full of character, while in a different video, criticize another lens for its chromatic aberration, weird bokeh, or softness. I'm arguing that there's nothing wrong with having a clean and modern look. The 23mm f1.4 linear motor is an optically superior lens with high sharpness, low color fringing, but a colder color shift. That's one problem with all Fujifilm lenses. The color shift is inconsistent across focal lengths, even among the new LM set which is strange since they all have the same filter thread, suggesting they should all be color matched. This lens, though can be sharp, is great for YouTube and talking heads, and lends itself to being shot on a higher quality camera. When compared to a cinema lens such as the Zeiss Otis 28mm, the Fujifilm has some advantages such as autofocus, weight, and sharpness. Accutance might not always be suitable as gentle sharpness with the Otis will get you closer to something you might see at the movies. Most people can't pinpoint what makes an image great anyway, but they will often find a sharper image to be of higher quality. The 23mm f2 has been one of my favorite lenses in the past. It has strong contrast, but isn't very sharp wide open. Two problems with this lens are color reproduction and clarity. I find that the previous f2 version was great for video, but had problems with color accuracy and color fringing. There's often blue or purple color when shooting into highlights, which is often associated with vintage lenses. Regarding color accuracy, the lens struggles in low light, though color has good saturation that's not always good for skin tones. For photos, the new Fuji lens will definitely give you a professional, high-quality look. The lack of contrast makes post-editing very flexible. However, for video, the lack of contrast is not desirable as compensating for contrast in post will cause inconsistencies even with color saturation. The lens at f1.4 actually looks quite nice for video, but anything deeper than 5.6 is far too sharp. f 4 seem to be the limit for me without making skin tones unbearably unpleasant. This lens has little faults, maybe distortion being one of them, but that doesn't mean you can't have an image with a lot of character. Because the sensor on the Fujifilm is mainly for photography, people often seem to want artifacts in their videos to reduce that digital look. I agree that Fujifilm can resemble nostalgic film, and I do think it can look nice but people have been sleeping on the fact that the X-H2S has a great clean image. You should be utilizing lighting, contrast, and exposure for your cinematic look, not reproducing imperfect tools of film days. As lovers of cinematography, we always romanticize the past, but if you always chase older looks, then you'll never push new frontiers. Don't use nostalgic tools as a crutch to make your image beautiful. As Roger Deakins says, if you don't get excited about lighting as a cinematographer, then there's not much hope.